don't know, people are funny. Ah, oh, I wonder if in the future, like they had in the past, they'll have like people zoos. Well, they'll keep people in cages so that other people can come and watch them. That would be funny. I mean, not freak shows, just like regular people. You get to you get to watch people sit down and eat dinner at a table and like talk about the day and stuff. That would be awesome. The normality zoo. Of course, it get boring really quick, but like by then, I hope that people will have more interesting lives. But if it is in the future, it'll most likely be in a museum. <laughs> Model of a businessman. God, what good taste. They all dress up the same. Except they look a tiny bit different. Yes, that's why they called it a suit. Oh no! There's no effects like to put it. Wolves in wolf's clothing. Oh dear! Yeah, since I've been talking about stupidity, I might as well put up a no effect sign or song on this video if I remember. I think I have one in mind. Oh god, this is irritating. Sometimes this game can be a bitch. Especially when there's two submarines there. How am I supposed to get them both? Just get up! Good gravy. Every time I think of gravy now, I just want to quote that song. <laughs> so funny. Uh. Guys are literally insane, I think. Well, that's okay. It makes them more interesting people. Oh, damn it. Oh, fuck, I hate that. That is seriously the biggest joke. Well, one of the biggest jokes. I wouldn't like to tell you what the biggest joke is, because you'll die laughing. Wow, that actually missed? Are you kidding? I guess I wasn't kidding. I seriously have no more idea. <laughs> I have no idea how many more submarines are left. Probably three. All around the same area, I'm guessing. Mm. 
Damn it. What the hell? Wow, 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 wow. Fuck this game. Now, I hate saying that because you can't do it, but... Especially now that it's digital. It doesn't even have a physical form in which you could try. But... I was gonna actually tell you something kinda nice. Now... The reason that I'm slapping and stuff, like I said before, is because I'm eating cookies. Sorry. And they're called Ranger Cookies. They're so good. I could tell you what they consist of. Oh my god, if I didn't stop getting so aggravated with how I fall off the edge. I hate the edge. <laughs> what the hell? You merciless bastards. Okay. It appears as though I, I cannot beat this at all. And nobody can in history. It's like an unbeatable game. It's like Monopoly, except with 7 billion players. And the rules are tainted. But... Tell you about these cookies. The Ranger cookies they consist of one cup of uh well depending on how much you're making, but it contains coconut, rice krispies, and oatmeal. Hey, I got them both in one hit. How do you like that? That's strange. I guess they're all dead over there. Now where are these ones coming from? Okay. I get it now. I'm not supposed to leave every time I shoot one of them. Get up! Get up! GTF up. Oh my god. Fuck you. Fuck. <laughs> Am I dead yet? Or cursed? That was always a theory. Oh my god! Don't you dare. I guess I can't say that. They're gonna dare regardless. But, oh well. It's too bad for me, I guess. What was I gonna say? I suppose within the first month that I came back from Saskatchewan, my grandma had these cookies. And, uh,. They'll always remind me of watching the first Minecraft videos I ever saw and eating them. So in turn, they'll always remind me of... I guess David is his name. It's either David or something else. I only know him by his alias, to be 100% sure. I think his name's David, though. Yeah, which was a good time, because I didn't have... The uh, ability to play that game. And so I was just watching his videos and flaunting over them. Oh my god, stop shooting me. Give me 
mean, I just live in peace. Guess not. Oh, kind of a funny war story. I was actually told of it in Socials 11. And it just amazed me. Um, during World War One, I, I believe it was someone, some group, either British or German or, no, British or French or whoever, they were fighting with the Germans. And, uh, it was Christmas Day, and, uh, because they were all Christians, they decided to stop the fighting for one day and play soccer on a field. And I thought to myself, well, if they're willing to do that for a holiday, why don't they do it for the betterment of the, everyone's life? I mean, that was a ridiculous war anyway. Totally unnecessary. And possibly the most atrocious, because nobody knew how to fight those kind of wars. What with history and all. They still had, they still had uh, generals on cavalry asking their men to charge into battle. Because they didn't know how else to handle it. What is that? A machine gun? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Hmm. Sorry, I just wanted to finish my bite before I cheered in triumph. Yay!